Dear participants, as a part of this online faculty development program on effective use of ICT tools for teaching and learning process and online assessment, I would like to give you a demonstration on how to include any structure or any chemical reaction as a part of your assessment in the Google form. You can attach this Google form in the Google Classroom. So, including any structure or reaction into your question paper comprise of these five simple steps. Initially, you need to use some online platform to draw the structure or reaction which you want to include in that paper. There are many free uh, available softwares and websites which will allow you to draw the structures. Then you need to copy your drawing with the help of snipping tool. The snipping tool is default available in the windows. If it is not, you can also download it freely. Once you copy your drawing to the snipping tool, then you need to paste it either in the PowerPoint or into the Microsoft Word file. And from that, you need to save it in the form of a picture which you can browse and easily upload into your Google form. So let's see, uh, let's see step by step. These are a few websites which can help us to draw these chemical structures online. I would prefer that you can use ChemDraw Direct from Perkin Elmer Cloud because there are so many uh, already drawn structures as well as figures which you can ready made which you can take as it is or you can start it from the scratch and you can draw it on chem space or chem spider or chem writer or chem draw so let's see a demonstration on chem draw direct you need to copy this link into the google chrome and this link will take you to the page where you can draw the structures. Also, uh, this allows you a 30 days free trial if you want to work offline. So, you can see the toolbar consists of so many options. There are selection modes like paint, there are magnifiers, eraser, these are different kinds of bonds. So, you can observe there is a plain or normal bond, then there is a dark, bold bond there is a wedge like bond which are used in stereochemistry to show uh, the groups which are above the plane then dotted bonds to show it below the plane then there are wavy lines to show breaking of a particular bond there are arrows then some rings which you can directly take so let's try uh, if you want to draw a structure of benzoic acid i will need benzene can also take cyclohexane, cyclopentene. So you need to click on whatever ring you want to take. So click on that and then click, click on this blank background. You can take now a normal solid bond and click on the point where you want this bond to it attached. If you want ethyl side chain, then increase the bond, increase add one more bond now here you can type any group this a option will allow you to type anything with the help of your keyboard so click on the point where you want to write so here i can write c o o h if i want to convert this ring into pyridine then i can also click on any carbon atom which i want to replace a square box will appear here if you write nitrogen then click out, outside your ring is converted into pyridine. Now if you want to give name to the structure go on the selection mode because there is no other structure present here so by default it is selected otherwise if there are multiple structures you can uh, select by dragging uh, cursor 
after clicking on this mark V for selection of um, structure. So here there is one option called as structure to name. If you click on that, then name of the structure will appear. So you can also take it a bit down to appear more symmetric. If you want to turn it in the form of a reaction, click on the arrow and then drag it in the direction which you want. So if you want to ask the students what product it will produce, you can with the help of your keyboard, you can add a question mark. Also, you can write something on this arrow. If you want to write, say, concentrated HCl. Now, if your drawing is complete, then go to the snipping tool. Now, this is the snipping tool. And as I said, this is freely available with the windows or you can also download it from Google. Click on new and then you need to select the area which you want to cut. Now after selecting that, it will go into the snipping tool. Click on edit and copy and then paste it on your presentation or you can also paste it in any Microsoft Word file. Now you cannot change anything over here because it is not in the editable format. You can go back and change it in the game draw only. So once you have this structure over a Microsoft Word or PowerPoint file, then you can right click on it and click on save as picture and you need to save that file as a you can give name as a reaction 1 or reaction 3 already your reactions are there on the desktop and click on save now this picture is saved in the form of image you can go to your Google form and suppose this is your quiz form here you are going to type your question if you want to ask them predict the product and identify reaction. So here one option will pop up. Usually option is not visible. If you move your cursor in this area, then there is one option for uploading the picture. Click on that. So for inserting image, there are many options. You can click by your laptop camera or you can insert some link or you have already clicked photos then from your Google Drive. Right now we have created one file so we can upload it from this upload section go to browse and then open that file wherever you have stored so here we have stored it as reaction 3 and then click on open that reaction will get inserted over here in the similar way you can import any structure to your form so students will be able to see uh, this reaction as well as your question and because you have selected your short answer question they can also write which reaction it is otherwise you can give them options and you can make it a multiple choice question so in this way you can upload even for options if you select multiple choice and if you want to give them options what this reaction will produce as a product so for option 1 also, if you want to give some product, you can convert it into the image form and you can add that image so that students can tick mark.
which product will get formed in this particular reaction. Now this chem draw, uh, here there is one option to the extreme right called as template. Click on this template and you will observe there are so many pre-drawn or already drawn structures say amino acids you need not to draw it. There are many or almost all of the amino acids they have already drawn. Then there are some figures from the anatomy. There are animals, then aromatic rings, say a fused ring. If you want to insert this, you select any of the picture which you want. Just click on that and then you need to again click on the background. So that structure has been taken. So there are many clip art like if you want to show any glassware, prepared funnel, confirmations especially for this is very difficult to draw Newman projections if you want to show them staggered and eclipsed you need to click on it if you feel this image is small then please select it and then drag it from any one end to appear it symmetric you can also give some substitutes like methyl group wherever otherwise if nothing is uh, written then it means there are carbons carbons having sufficient hydrogens to maintain the valency so this is how uh, chem draw will help you to draw the structures easily if by mistake if uh, something is incorrectly drawn, you can click on this eraser and you can selectively delete only that portion, any bond if you want to delete. Similarly, there is option of double bond. So if this bond is already drawn and you want to make it double bond, just click at the center, it will get converted. It will always show whenever valency is exceeding in case of uh, every atom so there are so many options you can explore if you want that chair and boat form that is also given over here you can draw the structure and after drawing that you need to paste it into the word or powerpoint file and then Click on save as picture, select a suitable location and then that you need to include it into the Google form. So in this way you will be able to incorporate any reaction or any structure into the question as well as into the answer. Thank you for paying attention.